Okay, folks, hopefully you have already practiced how to multiply a monomial, which is just one of these right here, by another monomial, which is just another one of these, okay? These are not called monomials we have in front of us. They're called binomials because there's two of them inside the brackets, okay? Like a bicycle has two wheels. So what we're going to do here is just practice, and if you might know how to do this already, but let's quickly review how you multiply a binomial times a binomial, all right? Uh, before we do that, I also want to mention that this and this, these two questions are the first two questions that you're going to get when you practice these on the Khan Academy, okay? When you go there, which is a link that I'll show you, okay? You're going to practice these exact same questions. So if you just follow along here, you're going to be doing fine. All right. So remember, when we're multiplying a binomial times a binomial, there's something that we, you may recall and uh, it's an acronym. It just means it's a way of remembering uh, what order to do this all in. You might remember the word FOIL. That stands for first, outside, inside, and last. First, okay, and then outside, and then inside, and then last. If you don't remember that, no big deal. Just remember, everything in here has to be multiplied by everything in here. So if this is like a party, uh, this, these two guys have to go and meet everybody in this party over here. Okay? So let's try this out. Let's start with the first, the F or the first ones. What is X times X? Can you remember? Alright, X times X is X squared. If you don't remember that, make sure you stop right now and just make sure you re review that, okay? Next one is X times 8. Well, that's positive 8, so it's positive 8x. The next one is negative 1 times x. Well, remember, a negative and a positive make a negative. And you don't have to write the 1 because the 1's invisible, but you can write it there if you want. It's up to you, okay? And the last one, negative 1 times positive 8 is negative 8. Okay, we're almost done here. Uh, right now we have four terms, one, two, three, four. But we're going to simplify this. We're going to put, there's two terms that are like terms here, like terms. So I'll circle them. This one here and this guy right here are like terms. They can go together because they just have an x, okay? It doesn't matter what coefficient or number is in the front. They have an x there. So let's put them together. All right, well, the x squared, I'm just rewriting that there. What's 8x's? Take away 1x. That's right. 7x's. Okay, and we're left with this minus 8 on the end. And we're done this question, and that's all you really have to know for this quick unit here. So let's try another question. Remember, first, outside, inside, and then last. Okay, let's try it out. Negative 8x times x, negative 8x squared. Negative 8x times 8, well, that would be negative. What's 8 times 8? That's right, 64, and don't forget the x, okay? Negative 4 times x is negative 4x, and then negative 4 times 8 is negative 32. Do we see any like terms here? Yes, we do. These two guys are like terms. Put them together. What do we get? Well, first of all, write that negative x, 8x squared. Put these two together. That would be negative 68. Whoa, I almost wrote 60, but it's 68x minus 32. Okay, we have just, we have just expanded or multiplied two binomials, and here's our answer. Okay? Um, is there anything else? Oh, well, you should know that. Notice that there's the squared here, and there's just an invisible one here. Well, most textbooks and most teachers want you to write your answer in descending order, so put the thing with uh, <laughs> the highest exponent first, and then just gradually move down until you get to the constant or just the regular old number at the very end. Okay? Let's keep going. What if you get a question like this? This should not stump you because what you should say is, hey, 2 just means this times itself. Okay, it's like saying x minus 2 
times x minus 2. All right, that's all it means. And then you quickly do FOIL. Okay, first, outside, inside, last. And I'm going quickly here. I know you can, I know you can uh, pause any time. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Then another negative 2x. And then negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And the final answer, well, put our like terms together. Here's two like terms. Put them together, and you should get x squared minus 4x, because negative 2 and negative 2, or negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4, okay? And then the last is the positive 4 on the end, and there's our answer, okay? And last question in this short video. You'd get a question like this, and it might say expand, or it might say find the area of the following rectangle. Um, let's see, your worksheet's going to have a question like this. Oh, well, I can't find it there. But basically, well, all it means is when you find the area of a rectangle, it means go length times width. And instead of giving you nice, easy numbers here, they decided to give you some more difficult uh, binomials here. But they're not that bad. So x, 8x minus 6, and you're going to multiply that by 5x minus 4. Once again, the reason why we're doing this is because we're trying to find the area of this rectangle. And if you remember the formula for the area of a rectangle, you just go length times width. Okay? So here's the length, here's the width, and we're going to use first, outside, inside, and last. We're going to use FOIL. Okay, so 8 times 5, 40x squared. Okay, 8x times negative 4, negative 32x. Negative 6x times 5x, negative 30x. And negative 6 times negative 4 is positive 24. Do you see any like terms? I do. There's one. They happen to be in the middle each time when you do it this way. So put it all together, and your final answer should be 40x squared minus, put these two together, minus 62. Notice I'm just subtracting. Negative 32 minus 30. It's almost like adding, when just putting a negative sign in front, but anyway. Okay, negative 62x, and then plus 24 on the end, and we are done. That's all you have to know in this unit, is how to do this stuff. Practice this at the Khan Academy, practice this on the online uh, practice questions, and practice this on the worksheet, and you'll totally know how to do this stuff. I'm sure you'll be fine. All right, good luck.